cholesterol is a, another hot topic. Um, it was a bad guy for a long time. Now it's it's something that's not so bad that we need, and there's certain numbers. Um, where do you fall in, in that? And, and the statin drugs, I think, are probably the most prescribed uh, drugs out there. Those always needed. Yeah, so um, when you say is cholesterol needed, so um, you don't really need cholesterol in your food. Okay. Um, and you don't, need, you don't want high cholesterol of certain types in your bloodstream. And so let's kind of talk about that a little bit. So um, for a long time, people said we should avoid cholesterol in our food. Um, it's not cholesterol that we need to worry about so much as the fat in our foods. So there's pretty good data that, set that, um, that monounsaturated fats are good for us like olive oil. And they help when we eat monounsaturated type foods, use olive oil salad dressing or in our cooking, that that then helps the, the lipids and the cholesterol profile in our blood. Um, so in our food, if we're going to focus on monounsaturated fats and try to decrease saturated fats also, um, all of those are positive things for cholesterol in our blood. Um, the cholesterol in our blood comes in many different parts. There's total cholesterol. Um, we don't like to see that very high. Um, the LDL or bad cholesterol also, we don't like to see very high. HDL or the good cholesterol, we don't mind seeing that in the upper limit of its range or even slightly above. Um, and triglycerides is another one we'd like to see low. So we've got cholesterol and fats in our foods. We've got cholesterol and other fat types in our blood that we need to kind of think about how to manage all of those numbers. And um, the actual cutoffs on recommendations on that does seem to vary depending on the most recent studies here and there. So depending on your risk factors, just talk about that with your doctor. Um, because people with diabetes are going to want to have lower numbers on some of those than people who are healthy. If you have a family history of early heart attacks, you need to be worried about in these numbers in a different way than someone that has no family history of cardiovascular troubles. Um, the most recent statin study, which was basically going to double the number of people in the United States of America that were going to be on statins, it, their algorithm for making that decision turned out to be flawed, and they had to um, publish uh, retraction. And so... Uh, I wouldn't change the prior recommendations at this point. I use statins in select situations. A lot of cholesterol abnormalities, serum lipid values, respond nicely to dietary interventions, weight loss, exercise, some supplements, um, herbals. And so that's usually my first approach. But again, I have to factor in people's uh, medical history and risk factors.